My crazy mother-in-law drove me to the edge. So I called off the arranged wedding. My future in-laws approached my parents on an arranged marriage platform with their son Mark. Mark and I had known each other for three lovely months before we decided to get engaged. Our families got along exceedingly well and his mother and I also had a good relationship. Once Mark and I got engaged, we started planning the wedding. Both my parents and my future in-laws came to an agreement about location, time, date, etc. Then his mom, Jackie flipped out and accused my parents of trying to get their way with the wedding festivities. We asked her why she felt that way and she said she wanted the wedding earlier, but Mark and I thought we should have it in the year 2024. The month was decided. Jackie wanted the wedding to be Indian style with fanfare. Indian weddings in olden times typically gave a lot of importance to the groom's mom by laying out a carpet for her with a bride's side, washing groom's side feet, etc. But this is not done in this day and age anymore. We heard from my Mark's extended family that this was what his mom wanted and was sad about since the bride's side is responsible for the ceremony. I asked my parents if we could have another traditional Indian ceremony and they agreed. We told her that we had tried to accommodate some of her wishes, but said we could not change the timing of the wedding because I wanted to first prioritize my career. She cut off all contact with my parents, took me off her Facebook, deleted my number and uploaded some pictures with quotes that were directed at me. I found it slightly immature, but was too busy to give it much thought. Then Mark told me she threw a massive tantrum at home and made some unsavory comments about my mother and me. She said that girl should not live under my roof. Mark was frustrated with her behavior too. He said she got this way when things didn't go her way. But this tantrum lasted a while. It got so bad. That Mark angrily left the house for a few hours. I was hurt that she had said things about me. Mark tried to tell her again that it was his wedding and that we had made a plan that we thought was best for us under the circumstances. There was a month-long silence after that. But Jackie and I exchanged messages on my birthday. Then back to silence. Mark had told me that his father was the voice of reason throughout and that he handled his wife. My parents were understandably upset with all this, but they didn't confront her. Mark told me one day that Jackie told him that she was diagnosed bipolar. In the past, I thought that explained the behavior, but now I was hesitant to stay at their house. I asked Mark if he could move out before we both could live together. He said he would move out if things got worse. The week after that, Jackie threw a fit again. She said my father was a bad person and a scam artist. This broke me. I was still recovering from hearing this about my father when she also asked Mark to show him proof of me being a doctor. I'm an international medical graduate. He came to me, and that's when I felt extremely devalued. I provided the proof, but this broke me beyond anything ever could. Mark said he would move out if they insulted me further and that he would cut off all contact with his toxic mother. Jackie wanted a FaceTime call set up between Mark, me, my parents, and his. This happened 24 hours ago, so I'm still processing it. We were told the call was to discuss the wedding plan once more. We were exhausted at this point, but decided to give it a shot. The call was nothing about the wedding plan. Jackie and her husband called me out in front of my parents and asked me why I hadn't messaged them. I felt like I was on the stand. It took me a while to find my voice, but I called her out on the hostility. She denied that she had ever taken me off of her contacts or uploaded the status. Or anything. She kept ranting and that was the first time. I saw her crazy side. I kept silent. I just kept listening. My parents were shocked my father-in-law wasn't being the voice of reason like I was told he was. It was like they wanted to create a rift. But she said something and I couldn't take it anymore. She said that I was marrying her son for his citizenship. I said, not only are you insulting my parents and me, but you're also insulting your son because you think he brings nothing else to the table except his citizenship. Mind you, this is an arranged marriage that they asked for. She yelled something and said, you better know how I feel, or we can stop the conversation. I said, thank you, we can stop the conversation and end the call. Then I called off the wedding. I think this call was done in bad faith, and I think they wanted to call off the wedding. Either way, Mark says he will move out, but is worried about his finances. He had told me he had saved up enough for a car and apartment, but he still hesitates to move out. When I called it off, I didn't trust Mark anymore. Plus, I had taken enough insults, and I felt Mark would blame me in the future for cutting him off from his family. Mark and I had endured months of this toxicity from his mother and we were exhausted. He still wanted to make it work. But I had had enough. I really didn't need someone to sponsor me. I had the education to make it on my own. Mark was a wonderful human. Kind. Calm, never angry. But I wanted to set us both free.